Hello friends, recently I had added a video regarding the medial plate for distal femur fractures. While for the fractures which are quite low, in which a small plate is required on the medial side, the approach is quite clear. We either go through the medial approach from the medial side or a midline or swashbuckler approach in which you can address both lateral as well as medial condyles. So with midline or swashbuckler approach, you can gain exposure in the lower part of the diaphysis, metaphysis and the distal femur condyles as well. So you see this kind of plate on the medial side is quite easy when your exposure is through midline or swashbuckler approach. But the concerning thing is how to use a longer plate. Suppose there is a combination in this zone and you want a longer plate that is ending in the mid part of the diaphysis. So there are concerns regarding the neurovascular structures that may be passing in this area which are at potential risk. And whenever the residents hear the word medial for femur, they are definitely concerned regarding the safety of such a procedure. So this was the incision i was telling in which you can place your medial plate in a mepo mode that means you make an entry incision directly over the condyle distally do not go proximally that means you need not to expose this part because this is having combination and pass the plate along the anterior surface of the femur to bring it out here now your proximal incision is in line with the shaft i'll show you in the coming slide you see the markings of the incision one is on the lateral side, one is on the medial side. The lateral is quite different from the typical one because of the associated open wound, which resulted in modification of the incision in the distal part. So the incision is quite clear. The first incision is on the medial side, directly over the condyle, and the proximal incision is in line with the shaft of femur that I will show you in the next slide. Here you see the incision here, that is for the proximal part of the medial plate, is in line with the shaft. You see here? So here it is. And through this incision, you go directly through the muscle that is vastus lateralis and vastus intermedius to expose the mid part of the femoral diaphysis for the medial plating. So the relationship is quite clear. You see the proximal incision is directly in line with the shaft of femur and the distal incision is directly over the medial condyle and the plate has to be positioned in such a manner that this terminal part should not be off the bone. If it is off, that means the patient will complain about the implant prominence. Now comparing the femoral vessel and its relationship with the femoral diaphysis. So here you see the femoral vessel is quite clear of the femoral shaft, especially the area which we want for the medial plate. You see here on the medial condyle, there is no vascular structure lying over here and the proximal part where we want the terminal extent of the medial plate like this is also clear of the vessel so this is the plane we want to enter here the medial plate is passed from distal to proximal in such a manner that it remains over the diaphysis and then we can titrate the position accordingly so that it faces in an anteromedial direction so in proximal part you see the vessel is quite clear even on the medial side and we are going to use the anteromedial surface like here i've shown and on the lateral side it is quite clear and on the posterior side it is in vicinity with the femur in the notch area that means the area bet between the two condyles of the femur posteriorly is the area where the vessel lies close to the distal femur otherwise the vessel is quite clear of the femur you see there are some branches of the vessel but they are going directly posteriorly they are not on the anteromedial or direct medial surface of the femur. Again, the medial side, you see there is no vascular structure that is lying close to the medial surface of the femoral shaft, especially in the area where we want to place our medial plate. Now let's see the cross sections of the thigh from the distal femur to the proximal femur and know the relationship of the femoral vessel with the femur bone. So in the distal part, I told you the vessel is quite close to the notch. Here in the angiogram you see this flare is of the femoral vessel. This is femoral artery, this is femoral vein. It is quite close to the notch. But on the medial side it is quite clear there is no vessel lying. So it is a safe area for placement of your plate. Now going bit proximally you see the area in which the condyles end. So here also the vessel is posteriorly and the vessel here is again quite close to the posterior surface. As we go more proximally, here is the area of combination which we don't want to disturb. Again the vessel lies posteriorly, the medial surface is quite clear. And as we go more proximally, that means in the lower part of the diaphysis, the vessel again lies posteriorly along with the femoral vein. This is femoral vein, this is femoral artery. 
again the vessel is lying posteriorly under the sartorius this sartorius muscle and the vessel is lying deep to it again it is a safe area for placement of your plate because for plate you want to intervene on this area that means the anteromedial area so it is again clear of any vessel this is our plate which has been placed on the medial side and in this slide you see this is the fair of the stapler which was the area of our incision so the incision is in line with the femur shaft and is going through the plane of vastus lateralis and vastus intermedius to expose the femoral bone now this is the rectus muscle this is the vastus medialis muscle this is vastus lateralis muscle this is the vastus intermedius so our plane is going through the vastus lateralis and vastus intermedius to expose the middle part of the diaphysis for placement of the medial plate here also you see the vessel flare is quite clear on the medial side it is under the sartorius and the muscle bulk here is actually covering the femur and we want to go inside this area this is rectus femoris vastus medialis this is vastus lateralis and this is vastus intermedius and as we go more proximally the vessel becomes more anterior and medial again under the cover of sartorius muscle this is the bulk of the vastus muscles and here the medial plate has ended and we are seeing only the lateral plate that means we are in the proximal subtrochanteric region of the femur and this is the more proximal area in which you see the lesser trochanter and the ischial tuberosity and the vessel is quite anterior in the femoral triangle you see the relationship here again the vessel is quite clear of the femoral diaphysis if we go from the anterolateral or directly anterior to the diaphysis so again the vastus muscles this is the iliotibial band this is the rectus muscle and this is the sartorius so i hope this short presentation will be helpful for you in easing your concerns regarding the safety of medial plate and whenever i get the opportunity of operating such a case i will definitely take clinical pictures that will probably help better in your surgical planning thank you